The following is a short instructional video on the use and application of the one-handed spindle wrench from Think and Tinker Limited. When you first unbox and inspect your wrench, you will immediately notice several prominent features on the working face of the wrench. 1. Two horizontal tines with flats facing inwards. 2. Four horizontal tines with rounds facing inwards. 3. A spur gear with teeth slightly proud of the wrench's face situated between the rounded tines. Each of these features is intended to interface with a corresponding geometry on the spindle assembly. The horizontal flat face tines are intended to secure the wrench to the flats found above the collet on the spindle body. The two rounded sets of tines interface with the spindle body just above the collet nut and around the body of the collet nut itself. The rounded tines serve to align the wrench properly with the collet assembly. This brings the spur gear positioned in the body of the wrench into alignment and positive engagement with the spur teeth machined into the collet nut. The combination of these features should allow the wrench to be fully retained in the spindle collet assembly without any additional support and provide stability for the application of proper torque to the collet nut via the wrench. Begin with the collet nut loosely installed in the spindle. Take the wrench, and using the features mentioned earlier in the video, secure the wrench against the spindle and collet assembly. Twist the handle once or twice to test spur gear engagement, then proceed with tool installation as normal. Bring the tool to proper depth, tighten the collet down, and bring the proper torque spec. You should be ready to cut.